He found her on the floor of the shower. There's blood all over the floor. It's on the walls. Jenna had sent out a group text that my mother's died. I'm not a medical examiner. He made the determination that it was consistent with an accidental slip and fall in the shower. He is the expert in his field, and we rely on him. It just sounded so freaky. I felt like people aren't putting the pieces into this puzzle together. Sometimes you got to be brave enough to get involved. I remember Mary saying, if you ever have questions, you can always ask me. I have a lot of respect for Mary. We worked together for 10 years. I speak for the dead person. If it hurts the living, so be it. She says to me, this is a homicide. He's accused of killing his wife, Leslie, and covering it up to make it look like she fell in the shower. All eyes were on this trial. Once he was sentenced, most people thought, case closed. Right over our objection, he's released on bail. Just want to be with my family. I was stunned. Stunned. Juror number 12 had received upwards of 7,000 text messages throughout the trial asking her questions about the case. His children were standing by him from the beginning, and you had her siblings were also standing by him. Somebody's got to speak for Leslie. We have to do this again. Same theory, same photographs, with one significant addition. This was huge, yeah. We're coming on the air tonight with a special edition of NBC3 News.